It is undeniable that there are some heroes that do have the advantage over others, that's why there's a tier list. But that doesn't necessarily mean that those who are in the lower tier are absolutely useless. In fact, they might actually be a better choice in certain compositions. Plus if you know the hero well, then even better. Let's go out and play. Chang'e is considered by many a very mediocre mage. And probably the reason for that is because usually for the mage role, you want them to be able to do either of these things, burst or CC the opponents. Unfortunately Chang'e cannot do either, and she doesn't even have a dash skill. On paper, it seems like she lacks so many qualities for a mage, but if you know this hero well, you definitely will know that's not the case. It would have been absolutely sick if I managed to steal Cyclops Blue. It would have given us such a huge early advantage. That was a close call. I didn't expect that Mia will turn around and fight. It seems that our Layla isn't too bad. At least she is paying attention to my pings. I know Cyclops very well, and one of his main weaknesses is his early game. If we can shut him down early, our chance of winning increases exponentially. Kadita is probably saying her IGN out loud in this instance. This is a horrible angle to use her old. But I did this intentionally to give you a visual example of the difference between a bad ult from a good one. Even if I have to pay the price of missing a few kills, I'm willing to sacrifice my KDA for your gains. You are absolutely welcome, winky face. Mia becomes extremely terrifying when she managed to get three of her core items. We need to put a stop on her farm.
Here you can see, I don't have enough mana to use old. So I'll pick up these green orbs to gain back some mana. You know what's funny? If I only level up my first skill here, Mia will have died for sure. I actually didn't know that Chang'o's ult can reveal the enemy's positioning. Interesting. We don't have a huge advantage anymore, we are getting a little bit overly confident. Not gonna take that risk of getting hooked. Our Karina has some anger issues. I will never say that to my opponent. Flashback. We are definitely way ahead now, so we should wait for the Enhanced Lord. Somehow Mia managed to solo kill two of our main DPS. I guess we are not that ahead after all, and as the game goes on, you will become even more dangerous. Mia just keeps split really pushing. This is gonna be super tricky.
After a recent update, mages can now take down turrets a lot faster. I think it was a good adjustment. Mia is about to respawn, and if she pops right behind us and uses her Inspire, she can definitely get a Savage. We gotta be cautious. Our Leila seems to know that as well, that's why she's staying at the back just like me. This alone tells me that she actually knows how to play. Mia is giving us a panic attack, but honestly, I'm not really sure if that was the best approach for them. I personally think that if you will have joined her team more and used her surprise attack, they will have a much better chance at turning the table. But to be fair, you were still a close call. Not gonna lie, at first I thought we were gonna have a hard time in this game, since we have two heroes that really need a solid frontline to do well. I'm talking about Chang'e and Leila, but I guess our positioning made it quite hard for them to reach us. So like the title suggests, most of the time it's more about the user than the hero itself. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see ya. Victory!